I've been reading a book about the life of Mother Angelica. Let's see here if you can see it. Um, she founded EWTN. I can't summarize her life in this video because I would have to read through the entire book. Um, there's just so much detail packed in here, but there are some things in the book that I found interesting that I'd like to talk about. In the early 1980s, the USCCB wanted to found their own TV network. EWTN had established itself, you know, as a Catholic TV network, and the USCCB didn't really like it. They didn't like the fact that there were lay people that were running the TV station, and they wanted their own authority on it. And Mother Angelica had a good quote. In the book it says, Mother Angelica viewed the competition between the networks as a struggle for the future of the Catholic Church in America. Whoever has the media will control the church, she told a consultant in October 1982. And that's still true today, I think. You know, EWTN is the most popular Catholic TV station by far, and they control YouTube, like they dominate the YouTube market. But on Twitter, who's the most popular Catholic person on Twitter? Obviously it's the Pope. After the Pope, who is another top Catholic person on Twitter? Father James Martin. He has over 200,000 Twitter followers, which is significantly more than EWTN. Another top Cardinal is Cardinal Dolan. He has a lot of Twitter followers of um, over 200,000. And the USCCB has 150,000 followers. Mother Angelica became increasingly traditional in the early 90s. Um, I guess it was almost kind of a reaction as what to what she saw as moving further and further away from tradition and she just decided hey like we're going to say the Latin Mass we're going to return to the traditional habits and she did. When Pope John Paul II visited America in 1993 in Denver they had the Stations of the Cross and Jesus was played by a woman. Mother Angelica saw this and she was extremely angry and she just went off. Um, among the many things she said in her rant, she said, I'm so tired of you liberal church in America. Mother Angelica made a lot of enemies based on her traditional stances. One of the biggest conflicts she had was Cardinal Mahoney of Los Angeles. In 1997, during one of her live broadcasts, Mother Angelica, she kind of went on a rant about Cardinal Mahoney. He had previously written a letter to his diocese about the real presence in the Eucharist and it was actually kind of a confusing letter and that's what Mother Angelica was referring to but she said if I were in that diocese I would have zero loyalty to him. Now that that is actually opposed to canon law and so she made a mistake. Cardinal Mahoney was extremely angry. He wrote her a letter demanding an apology and she kind of gave him a half-hearted apology. She said, I was wrong to say, you know, there's zero loyalty, but he needs to be clear on the teachings of the church, especially in the real presence of the Eucharist. Probably the most fundamental teaching of the Catholic Church. And so it dragged out for a very long time Six years, actually, Cardinal Mahoney was after Mother Angelica writing her letters, writing letters to her bishop, lobbying the USCCB, trying to take down EWTN. He even wrote to the Vatican and tried to get them to silence Mother Angelica. But I think history is really telling because in Cardinal Mahoney's diocese, they paid out $600 million of sexual abuse claims. Cardinal Mahoney should have been more focused on the corruption that was happening in his own diocese than going after a nun who rightly criticized him. And so I want to ask, who is this generation's Mother Angelica? 
Who is the lay person that's going to stand up for our faith, even if it means criticizing powerful figures in the church? Is it Taylor Marshall? Is it Raymond Arroyo? I don't know, but I, I know that this generation needs another Mother Angelica.